this, you can have a quick cup of tea. I'm just going to run through how I how I strap an ankle, um, at least from the, again, for those overseas people, there's so many different ways that people take ankles. And I see it's so different everywhere. But I think, as I always say to everyone, as long as you achieve the 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 outcome that you're looking for. So if someone's torn an ATFL and they still have quite instability, and a lot of those we actually return to play, um, even if they've got a slight tailor tilt anterior draw, if you're taping the ankle to try and stop that ligament being breached at that sort of mid to end range and causing more damage, that's fine. If that's what you're achieving. Um, so there are many different tapes that allow that. I prefer to use my pro, my rigid tapes uh, with a fix underneath. So I'll show you how I do that. Um, and the reason I'm sort of saying that is that if you go to some countries uh, like America, uh, they'll use a lot of therapists, not everyone, uh, and athletic trainers will use a pre-wrap. So a foam pre-wrap, which was something that was invented sort of around the 40s, 50s. And a lot of the clinicians, trainers have, have stuck with this. Pun, pun, or lack of stick. Um, and my experience with this is that if this is taped under rigid tape, you do get movement. So I don't think you'll get any stability. Um, that's why I prefer to use tape directly on the skin, understanding that you might get some irritation, but it's risk versus reward. So I'll show you what I do there. Now, where was that fixed tape I had? Here. So I might get my main man, Conrad, to sort of come in with a, a genuine bird's eye view here. I'm going to put you back a little bit for me. So when I prepare the ankle, if you're dealing with someone who's a very, very professional elite athlete, you may, if you're taping the ankle, you may prepare the whole foot with, with like a fixation sort of tape. Now, I generally, for most people in the clinic, you don't really need to do that full prep unless they're allergic to uh, latex, if you've got latex in your, in your adhesive. Um, one thing about some of these newer tapes, like the Green Tech and some of these synthetic rubbers, the newer technology, they don't have latex, but they're as sticky. So latex was always a thing that stuck so well, and we always wanted to use it. But now some of these newer tape varieties don't have the latex. It's called a synthetic rubber, and they have a really, really good stick as well. One cool little thing here, so I've got my, um, I've got my, this is what we call quick fix. So if you're in a hurry like me, most of the time, and you want to apply effectively like a, a fixation tape, this one comes with no backing paper. So it's real quick, hence quick fix. So if you're taping the ankle, and here I'm just showing you how I tape over the tip, tip and tendon. Uh, and to answer that question before about why I use it, it's to stop the tape cuts. And then I can even use this posteriorly. Oh, not like that, start again. So I might use this posteriorly for the uh, for or for the Achilles as well. So Tash just going to dorsiflexion here. So we just put her in plantar grade and we lay the tape down. Okay, so if we look here, we've also got the tape underneath. Now, again, if you've got real sensitivity and you've got a latex-based adhesive, you may tape the whole foot um, as a prep. Now, rigid tape. So again, this is sort of one of the most common tapes joints of the body and I Apologize for those who are very experienced, but I'll just go through this. So what do I do? So I start with two anchors. You can even do three. The thing about your anchors is this is your investment area. The more the tape stretches, the, the more you've got contact area of your anchors, the more you're invested in terms of stability. So just one thing about this is to stay distal calf. Don't go too much into the belly of the calf. Just causes all sorts of problems in terms of swelling and muscle blood into the muscle and restriction. So that's a really, really genuine anchor sort of system there. Um, if you're in other countries, what they tend to do, again, this is a bit of a side commentary, they actually have a, a distal anchor. So they like to work the white tape because it's a bit weaker, but they like to sort of work with a distal anchor as well. But this is cotton tape. This is very weak, very unstable. So you've got, because it's the nature of the material, you can afford to do that around here because this is too strong. That would cause problems down there, but this tape is just so weak. It's just so, it's just cotton. So anyone can, if you can't break this, you're in trouble. Whereas the rigid tapes, which is viscose, is, is much, much stronger. Okay. So anchor system. And then from there, if we look 
if I do the bird's eye view of the ankle, medial malleolus, lateral malleolus. Medial sits higher, greater swing arm. That's why while the ankle joint was fantastic for hunter-gatherers walking on uneven surfaces, for high-level athletes and sports that you know, young kids do and adults, is that this movement, when it's done very quick, is quicker than the proprioceptive capacity for the for your muscle spindles to get the signal up to the brain and back down again. So, so you, you're sort of left out there to dry. So that's why rigid tape is a very good investment for athletes where you don't want to get them to sprain. So foot goes into plantar grade. So Tash keeps her foot up. You can have two to three stirrups, depending if you're doing prophylactic taping, so prevention, or you might be taping for significant injury of where, where you would probably add more tape. So you can add two or three. Now you can do a six across. Now I'll just show you some really cool things you can do. So if you've got two, three anchors, two stirrups, you've got a six here, reverse six. And then you might, for those who aren't experienced in taping, tape, this rigid tape loves to stick to itself. So you don't always have to go all the way around in bulk up. So you can actually put the tape. So Connor, if you see here, you can put the tape down there and just, if you're going after that lateral ligament complex, which you normally would more so than the medial, you don't have to go all the way around. And you can create these really nice lines of pull. So you get the tape to come right around. And you can even do some of these ones unachievable with, uh, so with uh, starting medially. So you can even go posteriorly uh, like a calcony or sling and create some greater posterior support for the subtalar joint. So these are really nice little applications you can do. And watching that, Fifth med base, don't want to hit that fifth med. That'll cause the patient to want to punch you. Okay, and then from there, if you want to invest medially, you might just add a couple of these sort of sixes on the medial side as well to lock that up. So from there, we then do our heel locks. So I'll send some videos of this technique. So a heel lock is subtalar joint stability. I generally do a, a, a heel lock both sides. Okay, so coming around around the calcaneum, make sure you hug that, that calcaneum, we can see there, and try to keep Tash into dorsiflexion. She's fatiguing because she's been in that position for so long. And then we come back up again. Okay, and that's your system there. Then, then you can lock that off. And so that's effectively the ankle taping. There are some times, if you've got someone who's got a significant rupture or a midfoot, like a um, um, uh, sort of a, a bifurcate ligament sprain, with those sometimes, and I'm glad I've got this little anchor here, sometimes you may have to bolt on more tape if you want to protect that area. So you may apply a couple of these lateral slings that actually support this midfoot if you've got a more severe sprain. Now that can be tough um, ATFL or bifurcate ligament. So you can always put those additional couple of strips there, just knowing you have to anchor that off. So you have to go back to your white tape, which I had before, and create an anchor for that. It's not very good taping, Paul. Let me start again. So you can just lock that off. So there are these different variations, and I encourage you to make sure that the key of the taping technique is to get, again, predominantly lateral ligament complex protection. So that's the sort of really nice taping technique for that. Now, 